Welcome back. The land of Thrain. It's been a long journey to get here from dust too, but I'm glad we're out of that garbage map. Woo! Train! <laughs> now we're on to a good map, Keith. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I, 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 my legs are shaking, and, and my legs are strong. They never shake, Keith, but they are for New England Whalers, as th this is a semifinals match. This is a match that leads to the grand finals of season four. Yeah, this is a big one for the Whalers, and they have to steal away Chaos's pick on train. It's a tall enough order already beating Chaos at a best of three, but now to do it on train one of chaos's best maps i think i can say that pretty confidently roy a map they're definitely definitely comfy on every time we get to watch them one saving grace for the whalers as they start on the ct side and they're pistol gods so i guess that'll that'll go a long way yeah so double set of utility here for chaos of course steel and vanity the igl and co-igl i like to to call them and it's Looks like they're all here. This is all eggs in the basket. They're not. This is not a fake. They're not looking to sell this whatsoever. They're looking to commit fully. Molotov for the back of the summit position. Smokes to block off both lanes to get give them some space. The flashbang comes out. It's gonna push the players on top of the train's back and give a chance here for Chaos to close the distance with the block seat. A position that Chaos definitely want to be in as they look for control. Look how deep they are. They're already in Z. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Punalone will punish one. Finally, Donji comes out of connector. Taken down by Pwn alone. And keep in mind, this whole time, the bomb's been taken. So there is limited time for Pwn alone and Pooh to really make this happen. To close that gap, get another pick, smoke on the bomb, and go from there. They know they're not coming from lane. Leaf will spot them, jiggling from sight. There's the Lloyd Street player. Pwn is flying in the air. Gets the kill before he falls, but that's a pistol like chaos. And uh, a relatively dominant one, all things considered, right? And here comes something I'm totally not surprised to see. The Force Buy for New England Whalers. I feel like this is one of the, the better Force Buy maps, right? Because it gets you the ops, gets you the M4s in full utility on the first gun round instead of a mediocre low utility rifle buy. And look at Chaos. Five Galils. I love this buy. This is actually one of the better buys that I've seen yet on this second round here. Five Galils gets you, gets you utility, gets you that long range potential if you need it. And Vanity's... Walked down the ladder and got one pumped. All right. Well, that's not a good start. I can tell they're avoiding him and trying to make no noise as they drop, but still kind of realizes they made a lot of noise. I'm trying to think what smoke he's going to throw. Probably a deep Z one, right? Is that what that one is? I think so. So they'll have a deep Z smoke safely thrown while the scout of DJ looks to do a work. Rampage, no support. DJ does get one, but tapped down by John G. Two for him on the entry. And as the bomb gets planted, the whalers look for a way to prod and go forward. Jesus. But uh, not when John G's going to do that. He has some confidence. Yeah, it feels like he's in a jungle gym right now. Just literally just jumping around the top of the train. Playing hardcore. Polone attempts a max 7 retake. Not the most trusted of weapons as soon as you give up the ladder position, unfortunately, for him. And it's all down to Booby. Notice how there's no S at the end of that because it's only just him, Keith. Yeah, he was kind of... I feel like Jonji's playing like the floor's lava. You ever played it as a kid? Yeah, I still play that yeah. now. What a fun game. Oh, you can play it at any age. Hella fun. And, uh, there you go. Now, Boo will save his armor, Deagle. Maybe he'll, uh, try to get a little risky with it. Try to take some fights. Where is he going to head? That is what I'm curious about. I'd imagine that's probably going to be towards Z. Got the nades in hand. There it comes, the nades. Oh, if no! Wait, what? if he didn't miss the nade, that would have chunked three of those players. Mm. If they had thrown well. both those nades and both of them landed, I think that would have been like over 200 damage across the board. Now, nothing. Step up, stinked. 
still able to double entry through the smoke with tap up bat. More nades being thrown mid site. Boot instead of chances the body flops on the like Nemo from Where's Nemo when they leave the ocean. <laughs> okay, what? There's no other place Nemo's from. You didn't have to say the title of the of the movie. Yeah, but people might. I just want to make sure my reference. Yeah, I have to like reference the reference, like Nemo from Finding Nemo. You gotta make. You gotta let him know. You know. You know. You never know, Roy. Someone might be like Nemo. Oh, man. So. Yeah, I feel like you and I have lost at least half our brain cells. Yeah, well, there's Finding Nemo, and then there's... Yeah, it's Finding Nemo, and it? it's not Where is Nemo. <laughs> Look, I'm getting trolled. <laughs> Come on! Oh, man, Rampage. I know my Disney movies! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done with you. I'm over it. The Rampage gets a bunch of them for out of all that, so. Where's Nemo? I like that title more, right. to be honest. <laughs> Where's Nemo? I don't know, probably passed out. It's only 1 p.m. He's probably sleeping in his cave. DJ, pushing forward. The Leap is a madman as he runs through the Ivy Molly to find Ben. He's going to continue his journey, his voyage, his crusade in towards back green. But Boo is not a fan of crusades. Even the game Crusader Kings would boo play. As John G is looking for the GG player, and as Rampage gets a little nervous, John G will claim it, but he has two more to find. The ladder player and DJ and put alone back green Roy. I would have I would have loved to see Rampage just give that up a little bit, concede that kill, just fall back, don't get too aggressive for it. Now you set John G up for what is a ridiculous clutch right there. The one V3, the one tap to close it off against DJ. And that's why you can't get you can't get overconfident in the one V3s. Rampage did not have to force that confrontation. He knew his position was compromised when he heard when he made the steps. He could have just fell back, he could have went back Z, could have repositioned. There was absolutely no need for that to happen. I think that clutch was so good, Roy. I think I even heard Mel scream in the background. That's how good of a clutch that was. Like, I heard a gasp. Wow. Uh, John G is that... honestly terrifying when he's feeling it, man. Like, whew. Yeah, he, he's always had that skill. But I guess the big thing about John G is why we have like a bit of an eco from the Whalers is he's been inconsistent in the past, right? Everyone's been able to see his potential hit or miss sometimes. And that's why he didn't really get like threats that much. But as soon as he got on this Chaos team near the end of his like, he took a break, I think, after if my memory serves. Um, he was on that Call of Duty org. Game Roy, yes, took a break. And then I'm pretty, ever since he's been on Chaos, he's been consistent. And he's been improving steadily. Um, and that's just what you love to see from a North American talent. Uh, I love to see it personally. And this round's getting oddly close, Roy. As I ramble, this is weird. Vanity's one shotable by the scout. He has double scope, so he doesn't even see Ben jump across. And it leaves Leaf in a clutch. So expensive and very winnable now from the Whalers. And Leaf is just... Okay, what hang is... on. Where is Rampage? He is gone. He he does he is he, he is selling lemonade on the opposite block corner. He does not want to be involved in this at all. What I, an un what, what, what an unusual round. Oh, I mean, I guess the fact that he has 12 HP is not inspiring a lot of confidence. Wow, that is. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they get the op and put it on Roy. They do save the AK on Rampage, so he's ability. Everyone has all of the goodies that they need. Okay, so we're one for one trade. Chaos still holding down the ladder. I think this is still ending into kind of an A. I want to call it an A explosion. It's kind of like a deliberate several layered attack. And now it's all the way up in Z. Unfortunately, he does get checked by Rampage this time. 
And Vanity and Zappa, the two remaining Chaos players, are looking to somehow salvage this round. But luckily, the thing they have in, in their favor right now is time key. They have a ton of time to work with. Oh, a little awkward. DJ lives on one HP, and uh, they can't allow another clutch from Chaos, can they, Roy? The John G1, as ridiculous as it was, this one would pop it. Oh, God, not again. He, oh, he spots Bone. He knows there's a player heaven. They just don't peek him. Just don't peek him. DJ has your sandwich cross. Boone can just keep going up and down this ladder. Everything's fine. Oh, no. oh, he's he's playing with fire. I, I, He'll peek him. He peeked him. He did it. Rampage now Vanity getting... has a right. Yeah, is Rampage is getting PTSD. <laughs> he's literally getting PTSD. Oh, he, gets, no. he keeps getting left in these 12 HP clutches. And Vanity's turned it into a 1v1. He's gotten three kills already. He's looking for the fourth keys. This would destroy the psyche of the New England Whalers. But does Rampage play this out perfectly? Oh, he's Taps waiting. Taps. Taps. Nah. Well played. Good patience from Rampage. Three kills for him in the round as well. So he kind of popped off as well. But man, these rounds are getting crazy expensive. That was like, that's like their entire... New England Whalers could have been in such a strong spot to contest the, the second part of this first half. And now their, their entire bank is used up as a result. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was expensive. They've gone in the double ops. Rampage is like, come on. Can you guys please just live? He had a drop. Put alone gets the opening pick. Steel's gonna attempt to re-drag it. That's the molly and still gets a kill. I mean, he'll go down to 28, but he's okay with this. Lurk Smoke and May just elect to jump out here. He wants the op, and he'll get it. Either to look for a pick or perhaps throw it out. John G, uh, maybe falling asleep a little bit. Could be drowsy, who knows? As Ben will peek Z and take him. That's a left shoulder peek, too, and Rampage? Yeah, that's risky. But there's a reward at the end of it. With Steel going down, leave Zeppa and Leaf the young guns in a 2v4. And the Whalers are not only taking control, have man advantage, but they have info, Roy. This one should lean in their favor. For now, until Booby gets here, but the B side is temporarily weak. That put just eliminated the only player here. Yes, there's a flank. There's Ben coming in from the front towards the back of the courtyard as well. And of course, DJ's regrouping here with Ben through the connector. Ben finds an important kill onto Zeppa. And now it's down to Leaf in the 1v3. This would be great. Isolates the first Roy up the ladder, but shot in the back. If Boo didn't get there in time, I think Ben might have been in a little bit of trouble. But they're going to make sure Leaf knows he's dead as his head just sadly morphs into the ground. <laughs> oh no, this game sometimes is ridiculous. And the Whalers get their second round, and more importantly, Roy, they carry over the double up. Chaos don't have a loss bonus. The money from the plant helps. But I was about to say it doesn't secure a buy, but I'm surprised Chaos are chasing this. Maybe they think Whalers are more broke than they actually are? Or, because I don't think they were in devil save territory by any means. Okay. This is the important round for renewing the Whalers key. This could be the round that closes the gap between these two teams. Gets them in a pretty good spot, economically speaking. But I am a little nervous because the full execute was coming in right now from Chaos side. Smokes are out. At least the first wave of the execute. And here comes the second wave. The smokes are now landing in. Molotovs are flying everywhere. Flashbangs are going to go high. And they're looking for space now. There's so many players here. The entire server is here, Keith. Yeah, this is going to get a little messy. Chanji's going to be pushing forward. The bomb is now ticking. But they have kits and smokes and everything else they need. They peek into the off lanes. Yep, Ponalo gets one. re for the other. Ben's there. ponalo has got the shot and cleaned up swiftly not a problem for the whalers roy gifted what seemingly was an easy round to them chaos halted they'll get 20 not 400 plus 800 each for the plant and it's not enough for a buy of course but an interesting risk from chaos roy are you on board with that do you do jive what they just attempted the force by full set piece yeah oh Yes and no. Yes and no. I feel like there are some positives, right? I think I think what they're trying to do is they, because they have a kind of a mounting loss bonus, they can kind of risk it. But 
Yeah, I, I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to break the economy while it was weak, but it is overly risky. I, I would have rather just seen him go light and buy up this round, but either way, it's now an attempt on the A site this time. Same idea, same kind of play in mind. The full set piece on the A site. A lot of space to work with Chaos, but still a man up for... Was a man up for Chaos. Or the Wailers, but I think, that, I think it goes from Boo. This is pretty much secured, Keith. It's just the head of the snake, Steel. And 1v3. Oh, make it a 1v2. And it's against the Ops. He's holding. Oh, he hits him. Just off the mark for a headshot. That would have been heart wrenching. That would have been interesting to see that go to a 1v1. But we won't get there. Buy comes in from Chaos. It's Opless. It'll be just rifles. It may stream set peace or strong default. Because they know they can't afford to get picked from these ops, right? I think they're just going to explode out here. Three players, T-Con, John is going to try to come out ladder. Just for the nades. Oh, Ooh. they Ooh. all throw Ooh. a nade Ooh. and they catch Bone alone. They call his bluff and say, you know what? We know you've been playing mid-train. We're going to, like, guarantee you're not going to be holding this. And we're going to go for the nades. But DJ has a different play. He'll push a nice trade from Chaos. And this round is exactly that. Just madness. As now the nades get tossed in every which direction. Van blind top trained by Van 80 Flash. The second op from Boo has made it onto A's site. But he is in a weird spot. With nades everywhere. Rampage is blind by Boo. What is this round? Might I add that this round was a 3v3 by a minute 30? That is... Whew. That was a fast paced round. Six to four, though. Somehow, Chaos got the better end of the deal there. Three players alive, too. I really did not think three players were going to survive for either of the teams, if I'm being completely honest. I thought it would come down to a 1v1 or 1v2. Somehow, it was a pretty sweep for Chaos after the first exchange. But now the economy here for England Withers is struggling. Only a single eco, though, so not too shabby. But this is most likely a conceded round, and Chaos are looking for seven rounds on the T side of train keep. I almost feel like they've done their, their job. Anything from here after the seventh round is a well-wanted bonus. But not really a requirement by any means. Walking into the site, it's a bit of a stack salute, but uh, Steel's a man of taste and he appreciates a good... And Roy, question. I see it being brought up in the chat while it's an eco and nothing more should come of it. Are you ready for this question? I, I am ready. Ahem. With your pizza, do you prefer blue cheese dip or ranch dip? Ooh. I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chat, Are those my only well. two options? Um, I'll give you another. I'll say, like, uh, maybe, like, another... Some people enjoy dipping their pizza into, like, uh, another pizza sauce dip. You know what I mean? Like marinara? Uh, marinara. And uh, let's go with... I don't know. What's another I, I like the, the creamy garlic dip. Have you ever tried a creamy okay, garlic? Okay, creamy garlic. Yeah, that bangs. That's good. Oh man. I like a creamy garlic. Yeah. Yes. I actually used to work. Fun fact: I used to work at a pizzeria. That was my first job for two years, and I worked at a gourmet pizza shop, one of the best in town, actually. Although I don't know if you know this, but Windsor is known. I, I think it was in 2015 we got uh, the number one pizza in the world award. Oh wow! And that's where I'm from. Okay, I'm yeah. a blue cheese guy through and through, all the time. But not just plain blue cheese, like chunky with pieces of blue cheese. I know, I'm weird. That's just... Yeah, that's I've just never me. been a big fan of blue cheese. But th yeah. this round's gonna need a lot of cheese here for either of these teams because the money is running extremely thin and the double ops is back online. That's where New England Wheelers have found the most of their success with the double ops. They just gotta work them. And they're working them. There and is. there it is. The yep. double openers. One for Ben, one for Pone alone. Minute 40 on the clock. Chaos is down two men. An instant regroup being called here. Yeah, that's almost their only choice, right? Is is packing up and looking for for some straggler, like a group of coyotes. Not to put a visual in your in your mind, but that's what chaos have to become. These double ops have picked them apart. They almost have nothing left. They're kind of like Tiger King. They're they're asking, how are we gonna financially recover from this? Or I'm never gonna financially recover from this. Whatever the quote is, whatever the meme is, I'm hip. And with a lurk smoke, John G will prod. They're going to boost over the box. I love this boost. Underused in practice. But I think Ooh. DJ now knows. Yeah, that was a... 
very missed opportunity for uh, some balance in this round. And this boost obviously signifies that two of the three players for Chaos are here. So, New Englanders, New England Whalers can probably play around that fact. They can hold their two players B. They can hold the two players holding down the ladder. But they're not, they're not gonna fall back. They're going straight out. And DJ, boo, the Riflers are coming into play now. It's all down to Zeppa. The one to five and the potential fifth round the board here for New England Whalers. And 12 HP on Zeppa, not really fancying his odds here. But economic damage is oh. king. He is popping off. He even heard that ladder play. He has good ears. He eats his carrots, and I don't know what's good for, for ear. Takes his vitamins? I, I, don't, I don't really know. Someone knows what you have to eat for good hearing. Maybe it's like beets. I'm uh, always down to learn. Me too. I feel like I have the worst hearing. Like, I don't know if it's my brain. Like, my brain just doesn't process hearing sometimes. I swear to God. <laughs> That's called selective hearing, I think, Roy. Yeah, or ADD, who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the double ops are still here. Chaos have bought up again. Still, no return op from Vanity, which was so promising on Dust 2, right? He was kind of the man popping off, right? Consistent. And now he's kind of nowhere to be found. And it's the Whalers who are finding tons of success currently on the CT side. This last half of this CT side has been just so primed from them. From opening picks to their anchors finding success, not getting run over, getting multi frags, flashes like that in towards T Con to allow Vanity to go be taken care of. It has been cleaned up nicely from the Whalers and now no reply, honestly. For the last, let's say, eight rounds, it's been like the Whalers show. Even with Chaos getting two in the middle of that. With the Whalers able to recover, mm -hmm. that's 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 great. Yeah, A7 is still okay. It's not good, but it's okay. It's recoverable. It's a it's a pistol round away from a potential double digits. It's pistol plus gun from potential 12 rounds. Not bad. And now they have three AKs to work with on top of the double ops. So full utility on top of that. Kits as well. They have the recipe. Pwn alone. About to spot it. Oh! <laughs> Leaf. You cannot bait Pwn alone. He's got ice in his veins. Well, maybe Chaos get a bomb plant here. That'd be super cool. That'd be ideal for them, but uh, I'm not sure I'm liking their odds about that. Yeah, DJ just holds upper. John G removed. Red is looking. And uh, maybe a plant? Nope, still doesn't get to a safe place. 7-7, seven, seven, Roy. What a turnaround from the Whalers. Will it continue in the last round? Maybe an op for Vanity if he glass cannons it, but not liking that option. It'll be AKs aplenty. And I think it goes without saying, but they can't afford to have these ops work them in this last round. If they can get away, I mean, seven already on the T side is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect 100%. score line. 100%. So, but I bet they would like to get a little confidence back because it's kind of been robbed from them, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not even entirely sure what to expect from Whalers on this T side, right? Like, we, we don't really fully know. Leaf, nice angling. Ben gets eliminated. That's actually the critical piece here on the defense for the outside courtyard. They've lost Ivy, which is going to force Rampage back. And it means that if Rampage falls, the entire back of the A courtyard is now completely susceptible. So a lot of pressure coming out from Chaos at the moment. And there's two men inside of Tcon, which means that if Chaos are going to hit outside, they somehow need to figure it out that there are two here because they can either play bait and switch, they can just play, play, not play the retake, they can just go for the flat out fights from angles that Chaos maybe doesn't expect. Like, they're expecting maybe one person in here if there is anyone. Two, that is. Oh, Rampage is playing fire. Rampage, oh, wow. he gets one at least for his effort. And here comes the attack. Zappa finds one. Steel finds the other, and it has rumbled heat. They gave up T-Con at the worst possible time. Oh, now just Pwn alone. He saw that player cro cross to Green Train, I believe. But uh, just a lot of angles for him to get through, isn't there? He's going to flash, and he's going to push. Nothing to be seen. He'll smoke off right side green. There's even going to be a gap, I believe, for Zeppa. And uh, put alone, yeah, not a chance to get out. So eight from Chaos on the Chief side. Fabulously done. But they also have to say at the same time, once the double ops came online from the Whalers, they really did start to shut it down. They had some good retakes towards B. 
Their A-holes were solid. They were looking better as time went on. So I think if they turned it on a little bit earlier, that half could have been completely different for them. For sure. But certainly, they're not in any hot water right now. They have a few rounds they can give up. And I, I hope they settle in nicely, nicely here on the G side. Right. Don't forget, too, that a lot of the rounds that they lost were, like, 1v1s or, like, rounds that Rampage had to save in, like, very unconventional situations. Like, this half had things unfolded slightly differently. Could have been an 11-4 for, for New England Waiters, right? Like, this, this could have very well done that. Here we go. Now it's New England Waiters. Going for the straight aggression. The straight ace play here. Three towards Ivy. Zeppa holding from behind the smoke. He, 2 HP. Gets three kills. How? That shouldn't happen. And just like that, it's done. Zeppel with three. Leaf gets the last. And Chaos have a pistol, Roy. That was quick. It was fiery. And man, did Zeppel make it look pretty. One away from those double digits. We'll see the MP9s brought out. Probably a scout or something of the sorts. No, double odds, Chaos. And I have a weird feeling as soon as Steel can afford to, Roy, eh, the auto sniper may just make an appearance. I think he's addicted to it. He won't admit it. But I think he likes the way it feels. Done with the AUG? The auto sniper. Yeah. Oh, the auto sniper. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it's honestly an incredibly viable weapon. I feel like it just it has like that that stigma, that demonization, right? Where it's like, oh, you bought a sniper, I hate you. Go to hell, scum. But it's if you think about it, it's like a two-shot weapon. Like, oh my god, it's so forgiving, and it's. Oh, that Very you spam accurate. too, yeah. It's good in everyone's hands except the French, Roy. <laughs> a little bit, little bit of a throwback there, if you remember. I do not. It's, uh, I believe he's retired now. Chat will know who I'm talking about. Chat knows everything. It was the one that Dust got in, in trouble of, of making fun of. I'm trying to remember who. As, uh, steel back oil. Along with Zappa, should clean up this B site, and there it is. Mop dump this chaos, get to 10. And it was body, I believe, he was making fun of, Roy, from memory serves. Yo, Liz Noobs. Yo, way back noobs. when. Yeah, way back when. Smith! No, it was Smith. Good call, chat. That's you. Yeah, I was making a Smith reference. Oh my god, Smith. I, I almost forgot about that, man. He's a legend. Yeah. Here we go, though. The fast A play, at least for Ben. They've gotten Ben out of the position. He's looking to contest, but unfortunately, Vanity and Johnji, they squeeze him out pretty quickly. That's that's like the early round idea for New England Waiters. Gone. Yeah, now that they've lost DJ, they have no T con control. Puts a lot, and I mean a lot of pressure on Rampage. He has to somehow get out Ivy, get a kill, create more space after getting the kill. And then live to a house teammates come out ladder. So at this point, I was hoping he would just kind of live, maybe try to find steel late, but no. He'll fall. Boo on 18. Gonna be greeted with flashes as they try to push forward. Boo. Attempts to cover Lee's pawn alone in a 1v4 on site. Zeppa coming into the flank. And that'll do it. Headshot in. 11 chaos. Whalers. You know what, Roy? They're going to be able to almost buy next. $2,900 plus $800. I bet they're toying with the idea. Uh... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like I feel a like downgrade. Like you just... Yeah, I feel like you just go for the half buy. Like, you just yeah. go for the techs, the deagles, the pistols. You get, it, you get enough utility for some sort of set piece. And you just run with it. And just ensure the buy on the on the even number. Odd number buys make me really nervous this late into the game. Uh, it's just highly risky. Oh no, don't let Steel get No, oh! no, not like almost, this Steel. Almost, almost. He almost gets the ace. He shuts down the half buy. They don't even stand a chance. That's kind of why I like the ump sometimes. It's oddly good in some ways. Okay. Yeah, uh, I expensive. had the ump really good. Close range, of course. But uh, any kill DJ gets here, it'll make a difference later on. I don't know how much I like his odds of being able to get down the ladder, though. That's kind of a different story. Here he comes. Oh, he saw the feet. Zeppa not shooting at toes. He's not interested in those feet picks from DJ Roy. Hard to believe. That'll do it. Take care of. Chaos gets a 
12, and here comes the buy from Whalers. It'll be awful, awful and plentiful. They're ready to rock, and they're ready to roll. Well, to seven, Keith. This is this starting to enter whew, nervous territory. Definitely uh, pretty scary waters here, filled with sharks. But they're not as hungry, the sharks. They're, they're just lingering around. They're floating around. They're thinking about eating. But if you lose this round, that's when they'll get really hungry. And the waters get even more dangerous. And what is extremely dangerous right now is not the shark, Keith. It's the snake, Vanity. Finding two kills early into this round. Ben does respond back. So there is some response. And still, he's got the venom, Keith. Oh, man. We knew it was coming. It just took a moment. Vanny with the, uh, the auto for steel. Uh, I bet the whalers are a little nervous and probably are kind of doing one of those. We knew this was coming. Why couldn't we just get more rounds before it happened? <laughs> like, why couldn't we keep their economy in check? I think it was just inevitable. DJ will take a ladder. Boo. Could follow. Well, you might want to follow because steel is uh, still connecting through that wall. As the smoke will fade into con, it allows Ben to get some eyes and some vision through the scope of his own op. And as Vanity gets back with prime timing, he'll catch DJ. Ben is top blue, full blind. He is a sitting duck, just with no eggs to sit on. Roy, it's kind of a sad story, really. But uh, I think a pick from the Whalers is necessary, but not going to happen with Vanity going for the ace. That's four for him. It is definitely on the table. He is pushing for it. Vanity up, dealt with by Ben, who's dancing around the site. Pushing from ladder is Jonji. Look at the end of the round, and it'll be Zeppa to do it. 13 for Chaos. The auto op recovered. And the Whalers, I think they buy, Roy. I don't know. Maybe a half again? I guess you don't want to do exactly what they did last time. But, uh, no, it's, it's, it's go time. If people ask me what my favorite player was, I say Tapson, and they like, Tapson, why Tapson? They're trying to get me off the Tapson train. No one can get me off the Tapson train. And a beast. Fair. I but, picked a big player as well. Hey, we're synced up, Keith. We're synced mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. But this is, let's get back into this, because this is actually a, a very important round, because this is the odd number four spot here for New England Whalers. No bomb plant might be a disaster here for New England Whalers if they can't succeed or if they can't even plant the bomb. So... Rampage, off to a pretty good start. He finds an opening pick. Stays pretty relatively healthy. And now they're going into phase two of this attack, right? The A Assault. They're going out with a single flashbang. They have some utility on their back, but they're opting not to use it. Pone alone finds a second pick. This adds a ton of pressure onto Josh now. He's dancing around the site. He's only good for one. Oh, no. Heels on the scene in the smoke. That hit. Uh -oh. He's going to spray it through the smoke. It's Vanity now all by his lonesome. And this flank from Ben couldn't be better. Is Vanity ready? He seemingly was, but just misses the shot. They'll grab the up. Rampage will live. Get up to eight rounds. But Chaos still have money. And I don't think anyone's going to... Is Leaf going to drop steal an auto sniper? Uh, I was kind of hoping. I'm being honest. I think he could have afforded to, but they like the utility. They want the kits. Understandably so. But this is the Whaler's turn to break the economy of Chaos and really give Chase run. They're going to do it quick. Out t -con, beating the mollies from Chaos, but there's still nades to come, and Rampage will feel the blunt of that pressure. No t -con, but Leaf and Ladder is still standing tall and willing and ready to fight. The two yellow crosshair bros and Zeppa and Leaf will have outside locked down. Question is, uh, how much ground can Boo find out here, Roy? I mean, he has one kill dead to rights, that's for sure. Oh, he's leaving him. He's going for more. This is this could come back to bite him. He's gotten a ton of info off that. There's the assassination. He knows the remaining players are likely in ladder. Zeppa's in a very awkward position because he's not really in cover. He's out in the middle of the open. He gets one. He flicks over. Almost connects to the second. But Booby finds his, his second kill. And now New England Whalers own the A site in a three versus two, Keith. Bomb's gonna go down, but smoke, John G. Good cover from Boo. Just saves Ben's life, allows the bomb to go down. And unless they gift Vanity one or two kills, I don't think he's gonna be leaving at all. And they're not gonna give him a thing. Ben wants to hunt. He wants to make sure Vanity hunting. Through the smoke, full blind, and just drive by. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Didn't need to see. 
See, double up key side train, I kind of jive with. But I... Do you, do you really, Keith? I, I do <laughs> if you know and you're confident in your pick ability. But I think the one-off was working really well for them because they've been playing very scrappy. Scrappy plays with AKs, being really sneaky, being snaky, creeping out. I think the 4 AKs just fits their play styles more, if that's fair to say. I feel like when you have double ops, you're restricted. Oh my god, that name. I feel like when you have double ops on the T side, you really have no choice but to play a very specific and predictable pace. It's my only reservation for the double ops. I mean, I guess part of it, if I'm going to be honest, is I kind of want Rampage on a on an AK. I think he's a capable opper, but he has been just on a tear with AKs this series, so... I feel, you like, know. I feel like literally almost everyone on New England Wheelers could op if they, they actually want oh, to. Oh, yeah, 100%. Without a doubt. I know now, they are coming... They are coming out of Ivy into a bit of a crunch here, Roy. That was a CZ! Uh oh Ooh! It's trouble! There's a shark in the water, and it's in the form of chaos. They just clamped down onto this ivy. They had three players there. They read them like a book, Roy. Even if the book was in Braille, Steel fi figured out Braille, was able to read the book, and still come up with a counter. Braille. That should be it. But this is the holy grail for the rounds for chaos. A complete eco win. They had nothing in it. <laughs> What? Ooh, take a seat, John J. Oh. All right. Wow, what John a disaster! John mad. You know, you know, he's mad. This is why I very much dislike the double off setup. To be honest, You're they felt so staggered, weak. right? Yeah, it's like they have, they have no way to gain space. Like they can't do anything. They just have to keep creeping, keep trying to work picks. And when you're up against pistols, like your mobility is terrible. I don't. I wouldn't have minded the double op setup if it was a full gun round, but the fact that we were, that we were going into an eco is was probably the the big factor for me as to why I did, was not vibing too hard with the with the double op. Setup. But no room for error here for New England Wailers. But it's really down to just one error. This is it. This is the final gun round potentially. Fourteen to nine. Chaos on the precipice of grand finals. We're getting closer and closer. DJ punches. Leaf punches back. A one-for-one one trade, an instant response. The information is starting to play out. They know that Leaf is up close here, which means that one player is around the bomb site somewhere, and the other player could be towards Ivy. You can see that Benz and Ponalona are starting to look for that player, but it's it's actually Vanity holding from back red. So if they want to get out here safely. Utility will be key, but based on the bomb position, Keith, it's looking like an ace plate right now. Get a freebie pick here, Gordon. That's my question. He does. Ben goes down. Yeah, make sure Van is in position, but Leaf and Ladder is standing tall. One more before he'll go down. And Van on sight is not playing games. He wants 15, and he wants it this round. Two for the man from Shutdown Ivy to dancing the sight. Pone alone, 1v3. See what you got, good sir. But you are being peaked, and John Yee doesn't like it. To allow Vanity to do the honors. Three with the op from him. 15 for Chaos. And on top of it all, the salt in the wound for the Whalers. As well, their money is not great, boy. Yeah, it's looking and, uh, like my bank account, Keith. They're poor. <laughs> yeah. Mine too. I need to stop buying all that pizza. But it's, <laughs> it's so damn good, boy. I, I, gotta, I gotta invite you down to my city and show you some real pizza, Keith. I am down. Pizza. But here we go. Off to a pretty good start here for Chaos as they make their way to the Grand Finals. Potentially, Vanity opens up the round. And there's only a single rifle for the New England Whalers here, Keith. Several players towards ladder and in box halls. Three total. New England Whalers have been all the way back on Ivy, applying pressure. And he's going for the immediate reposition and regroup with his other teammates. And if I had to guess, I'm saying this is ending in a B8. The B execute. I don't even know if I can call it an execute. They have a single smoke and two HEs to convert onto bombsite without getting mowed down by what is a two men defense for chaos here. 
trying to push the lane, but Steel is not having it. Nowhere is John G. Bomb has dropped. It's Ben alone with a Mac 10. And, uh, yeah, I think that kind of says the entire story. He'll get shut down from Zappa. 16-9 is where we will end on train. We knew it was Chaos's map pick, and they make it look like it's their map all around, Roy. From start to finish, they felt comfortable, mm -hmm. and it's just unfortunate that they both can't win the Grand Finals. <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, you know, we do have to say goodbye to the Whalers as Chaos will move to the Grand Finals. And uh, the favorites from the beginning, I think. Yeah, I mean, uh, even like the odds on HL TV were all heavily pointing to Chaos, and it, understandably so, right? Chaos, obviously, they ha they're kind of like the next up team. I think more so, more specifically, this is something that we talked about beforehand, was that the I think the winning condition for New England Whalers had to have been that Dusty win. Like, without that Dusty win, I, I we both kind of did not see this going their way whatsoever, right? Like, that that was the winning condition. Overpass would have been a toss-up, a map that is both incredibly versed, well-versed for, for both teams. And I think the third map would have been a banger, and I, I kind of regret not being able to see that. But... I'm happy to see a strong performance from Chaos headed over to the Grand Finals. So congratulations to them. Welcome uh, for, to be the first team in Grand Finals for the NA division. We don't know who your competitor is yet. But of course, commiserations to New England Whalers who have put up a hell of a show this season. And their improvement, considering their roster changes, have been phenomenal to watch. And I'm incredibly excited and incredibly hopeful. And my expectations are incredibly high for this roster uh, throughout their endeavors and, their, and their, uh, their rise to the top. So keep on the grind, and we hope to see you again for next season. But for now, you guys are eliminated. Unfortunately, Keith, there are no losers in Winners League. We've removed that word out of the dictionary, tossed it away, and it's only winners from here on out. And today, it is chaos. So congratulations, and welcome once again to Grand Finals of Season 4. Keith, any, any closing words that you'd like to say? Anything that you want to get oh, off your chest here before we head on I, out? I am so excited for the Triumph Yeah match now, because it not only is it going to set the like the final who's gonna play chaos but i think triumph and yay yeah are like yeah. <laughs> oddly yeah yay they're oddly like close in a way I, I i'm excited for grim and i'm excited for triumph they've been on the up and up they've been looking so good in all their matches so have, yeah uh, they they've been an improving team you go back six months ago these players have improved significantly they're starting to beat teams that they know they should mm -hmm. and they're also taking some uh, maps off teams that maybe you're you're surprised that they're even having being having close matches with so right I, I think that one's gonna be a really good semi-final and close to the end i mean to touch on that i actually almost a part of me believes that both yeah and triumph cultural differences and and approach to the game differences aside are an almost identical team right filled with young star power filled with upcoming player who are about to break into the t1 scene in north america can I mean, this is almost like a mirror matchup, right? Take away the cultural, take away the, the approach of the game differences, of course, between the Brazilian scene and, and us. But this is going to be an amazing match. And you're absolutely right. I cannot wait for that match. Triumph versus, yeah, for the other semifinals. One of those teams will be coming up against Chaos for the grand finals. I am extremely excited for that. And to know when that is, please follow our socials. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We'll let you know when these matches are happening. And of course, you can always check HLTV as well as win.gg, the main content platform for Winners League. But for now, everybody, we are out of here. Thank you all for tuning in. We hope you have enjoyed the content. And of course, before we head out, follow this beautiful man right here. My ad's down below here as well on Twitter. And our producer, Observer Melanie, behind the scenes. She does an amazing job. And people behind the scenes don't get enough credit. But for now, everybody, we are out of here. We'll see you again soon, I am sure, for either the Grand Finals for Europe, which may be happening tomorrow, and, a, and some amazing NA matches coming up in the next few days. So keep your eyes on that and our socials, of course. But for now, adieu, and we'll see you later.